Research Terms and Conditions tool for participating agencies that is housed on the NSF site. And at the bottom of the slide is the link out to that. And so this is the Research Terms and Conditions prior approval matrix in Appendix A. Now, there are caveats included in this. When you go to this website, they will talk about different caveats for the agencies. And then anytime you have a footnote, make sure you read the footnote. This is an incredible time saver, but it is important to note that this does not include any of your award specific or funding program specific items. This is really at that higher agency level, but it does give you a place to start. Um, so on this chart, I know this is probably a very difficult to read, um, being, I tried to squish it in here. Um, but if you look at program income, it says use of program income during the period of performance, the additive method, it gives you a reference out to the uniform guidance piece of that. Um, and if we look over to NIH, it says waived, but it has five as a footnote. So then you'd wanna scroll down to the footnote and see what it says. You also wanna still double check that um, policy statement and then check your award and check anything that you put, that came with the proposal packet. So you can check all of those pieces, like David said, the Caterpillars piece is so very important that we go through all of those documents to see um, which ones we need to um, make sure that we've checked and which ones tell us what we can do. So.